Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a weekly reading for Sun, Moon and Rising from the 3rd through to the 9th of July, okay? It will be brief, literally just pulling three cards, but we will uh, start off with the sound bowl just to uh, tune into the energy for one ping, so you can join me if you like. I'm going to take a nice breath in. And exhale. Okay, Cancer, let's see what the week has in store for you. Okay, please be mindful this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading. Uh, if you're interested in a personal reading, you can contact me uh, or you can check out my website book directly there. Information is in the description box below. Loveitormore.com, very easy. Okay, Pisces, I mean, thank you, pardon, Cancer, Cancer. So last week's message was a little bit more positive than it has been for you, uh, Cancer. So let's see where you're going from there. Literally three cards. Theme, unexpected advice. Theme, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, plodding along, plodding along, plodding along. Taking care of the smaller stuff so the big things can fall into place. Slow and steady wins a race. Oh, that rhymes. Um... Yeah, I mean, it may feel, it may feel to you like that things in your life, your lifestyle, your day-to-day um, -day things, like just the normal, not the big picture stuff, the day-to-day -day routines, it may feel a bit bland, a bit barren for you this week, but you've got to remember that you, you've, 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 you've got um, your gems. You are, you are traveling through this energy. It is like a, 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 a passageway, almost like a rite of passage, that sometimes you need to travel through the uh, desert to, to get to the oasis on the other side. Um, in this card, uh, the, the guy actually has a tortoise and a plant on the back of the camel. He's got his worldly goods. Now, the plant represents fertility, creation for new, building your garden of things you can harvest, okay? The tortoise talks about slow and steady wins a race and how um, you're protected. The, the, the tortoise has a shell over his back, okay? So, I'm, I'm getting the sense of, um, even though things may feel, I don't, I don't want to say the word bleak, I think it's very clear what's going on in your life in terms of, Things may feel a little bit humdrum, but you are methodically working through a lot of stuff. I'm also getting the energy of you doing the practical exercises in spirituality, like being really mindful of where your thoughts are at, where your emotions are at. Um, I feel like you are making sure that you're eating um, at regular intervals, resting well. I feel like you're just taking care of the 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 basic essentials at the moment i think that's really really important okay sometimes when we are surrounded by a lot of drama those things can fall by the waistline and i feel like this week you're just kind of you're getting your you're getting all your ducks in a row okay and yes it might not be so bore it might not be so exciting but i feel like you're creating the platform for you to grow your harvest okay now the unexpected is the two of cups okay so we've got a couple of things going on here what you don't see coming this week is we have your opposite turning up in your field okay when i say your field your energy field okay you're attracting this in because your vibrations are creating a very kind of clear and clean platform for yourself stability is where it's at this week and what you don't see coming is someone's going to come on in who is your counterpart, who is your opposite, a very good contrasting energy. So male, female, it doesn't matter. This could be in romance. This could be in business. This could be a friend. It feels new. It doesn't feel like it's someone you are already in connection with, but it feels new. And all of a sudden, where you have felt kind of barren and walking through the desert on your own, suddenly someone comes into your vibe, into your space, and um, it's like the it's 
like they see you. It's like they understand your point of view. They understand where you're coming from and they're understanding your needs. And, and the only reason they do that, Cancer, is because you understand theirs. So I feel there's this beautiful ex exchange between another person and it's a new person coming into your life, okay? It could be just a neighbor, an elderly neighbor. Okay. I know for those looking for love, you want your like soulmate, and maybe it is that. But whatever it is, I feel like it's a really good, they, they balance you very, very well. And it's something where you can, because you meet someone who is, um, I feel like a really strong emotional connection to this person. And it is, it's safe. It's got a very safe feel to it and a very um, harmonious feel where they may be from a totally different background than you are. They could be your complete opposite, but the fact that they are interested in what you have to say, they're interested in what your perspective is and you equally vice versa. It's this beautiful exchange going on. I feel like it just softens, it softens a heart space a bit more and enables you to see that your environment and your day-to-day -day habits are no longer dull and boring, okay? Yes, you still got to keep up with the basics. Of course, we all have to, right? We live. <laughs> we have to. We have got no choice, right? Uh, we can't be living in a drama the whole, every, every five minutes. It doesn't work that way. Um, but this is really nice. This is really nice. And... I'm really being drawn to the nighttime here as well, the stars in the background. So it feels to me like whatever this connection is, it feels like you'll you'll first hear about it or first be introduced to it. It could even be a forum on um, online, right? It feels to me it happens at night in the um, yin energy, the feminine energy, you know, where, where you are feeling a bit more creative and a bit more um, in the mysterious realm, okay? Meaning that you're now able to open up to something that's slightly different from you this is a very different energy from you it's a beautiful energy but it's it's the difference is the thing that's very complimentary about it advice from spirit nine of wands okay so advice from spirit basically says um yes it does feel in general the humdrum the day-to-day -day routines all of that sort of stuff it feels like you're just climbing up a mountain, you're wounded, you're tired, like when is the fun going to begin? Um, and Spirit is just saying, keep going, you're almost there. It's a nine, it's a nine, talking about endings, okay? So you're not, um, you're not, it's not going to be like this forever. Spirit is saying you're almost there. Just keep pushing, just keep plodding on, keep plodding on as you have been. And a, a, allow this beautiful kind of contrast to come into your life that is going to um, uh, sort of settle your heart space and make you feel not so alone, all right? Um, but as it relates to any sort of achievement that you've been working on, any sort of uh, home improvements that you're working on, it's um, Spirit is saying, just keep going, just keep going, you are almost there. All right, so um, we do have the Knight of Pentacles. So for some of you, it may still feel like um, your Pentacle, your finance, your sense of security and stability is also a little bit boring this week. Again, Spirit is saying, keep going, keep pushing, keep pushing. You're almost there. All right, so I really hope that helped you, Cancer. I wish you lots of love and light. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if this did resonate, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe. It's totally free. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.